What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some more Mono Green Tron. We got the Jack and Thou. We've got no lands in the opening hand and double Olamog. Ooh, that is definitely not going to be a keep. There we go. Much, much better. Ah, you know what? I'll keep the backup way to assemble Tron. Just in case we see removal. Because those are the colors for removal. Are also the colors for the deck against potentially would not be a good start. Not the best colors for a Tron deck to see, to be sure. A ah, little bit of grief. Goodbye, Karn. A little bit of scam, okay. Goodbye, Chromatic Star. Eh, maybe just the Ancient Stirrings. Yep. Fair enough. Funny when that happens, though. They take a card, you draw it off the top. Oh, interesting. Warping well, a better hold up. Uh, they have so many things that remove cards from our hand, though. Oh, crap. Uh, do we take the card and guarantee something? Or do we take the land? Take the Karn because of the chance of more removal. Now, here's the trick. The decision they have to go for, what do they attack? Yep. 
Fair enough. Ideally, I think my best draw. Never mind. That is going to be rough. And we're going to lose the Ugin here. Okay, they're gambling. It seems to be a successful gamble. Going I still think it was right to take the Karn because they would have taken the Ugin otherwise. Rangy here. Uh, of course. I'm very interested why they took the Ulamog and not the Ugin. They have removal from my token? Not that it matters, I guess. I guess I would have landed the Ulamog, which might have been worse, a worst case scenario for him. And they're going to scoop to that. Alright, so they just may not have been a good thing for them to take. It does seem like a rough matchup. Expecting some artifacts to be brought in, so we'll bring in the Haywire Mites. That functions very heavily on hand destruction, it looks like. Variant of scam, I guess. Imagine Solitude will be in the deck as well. The battle is interesting. That's makes me think very mid rangey. Ah, uh, no, thank you. They're going to destroy my hands, but it's not really a keepable one. That, that's going to be my best bet. A bet on finding a threat versus finding... I 
Okay. We'll go for it. That's a gamble. Playing slower Tron. They could remove the expedition map here, but we've got two chromatics if they do. Dothy Voidwalker. Okay. Very glad I emptied my hand. Don't draw a card. Dothy's dangerous, no doubt. Oh. Okay, well, at least we drew Tron. Granted, that's more painful than you think. Because these chromatic stars don't actually draw cards right now. Chromatic stars are not the uh, one I want to see. I want to see Ugin, Cityscape Leveler, or Karn. Ooh, okay, evoke the solitude.
and ephemerate to keep it. Makes sense. No reason to cast that here. We just need to find a big finisher at this point. That is the better answer because it turns back on our chromatics. And it's going to be a lot of life if they choose to solitude this. But yeah, decks that kind of have a slower mid range, we tend to get the advantage on. Ooh, we've got an artifact spell to cast. Oh, no, they're just going to use it to activate. Okay. So they do get use out of that mana. And they're going to scoop it up. Didn't find anything. Let's see what our top three would have been. Haywire Might, Karn, and an extra tower. Okay, well. I could have had better turns there, but I would definitely have started attacking their hand at that point. I think would have gotten rid of the Solitude. Maybe this land is drawing them cards, but either way, we got there. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.